Yo, how's it going everybody? It's -a me, Mario, and uh, I know I haven't made a video in uh, quite a bit of time, but I've had some a lot of stuff going on IRL. Like uh, ever since the summer started, I've uh, I've had a, like a lot of stuff to do in real life, and uh, yeah, that was all it basically. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully there won't be such a long break between videos, and yeah, let's get straight into it. Yo. How's it going everybody? It's me, Mario, and today I'm going to show you how to make an item frame invisible. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, so what you see right here is an invisible item frame. Now, how do you do that exactly? It's actually very simple. You just need one simple command to make your item frame invisible or your glowing item frame. This is pretty sick and you've probably seen this on Hermitcraft and some other servers and stuff. And uh, it's actually really easy. So all you have to do is point your crosshair at the item frame, and then you have to to use the data command. So slash data, and then merge entity, and then you see this uh, number thingy right here. That is the UUID of uh, the uh, item frame. So all you have to do is just press it, press space, and then do this like that. Type in visible with a capital I, visible, like this, whoops, like this, right here, set it to 1, that sets it to true. There we go, and now you've modified the data, and that's it, it's invisible. You can do this with the glowing item frame, right here, slash data, merge entity, like that, invisible, invisible 1, that's it. It, it becomes invisible and if you want to turn it back all you have to do is just set it to invisible zero and then it comes back and yeah guys that was all for this tutorial if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll catch y'all next time peace out